I think joy is uh, our best uh, and most uh, beautiful uh, tool to create, uh, following our joy. Um, uh, the problem is that um, we, uh, some of us or most of us, uh, we are um, so dissociated um, from our heart that um, a simple thing as identifying joy becomes very, very deceiving and complicated. When we were like uh, two, three, four years old, it was really easy to find joy. It was so obvious, that it was unquestionable. Uh, now we are in a situation where um, we have so much um, outside data uh, that confuses us and misleads us. And so quite often we, uh, we think that we are doing something out of joy, but it's not. It's not joy at all sometimes. It's, it's actually the opposite. Um, The thing is that uh, when you are uh, creating through real joy, um, you have really, um, I would say, a, a blissful uh, experience uh, because you are uh, divinely connected with your source. You are not separate. Um, you are acting and is um, not just you in this form that is acting, but your action is the summarization of all of you. Everything that is you, which is source. Many people call it God or spirit or whatever you want to call it, but it's uh, the part of us that is expressing itself, is having different uh, shapes and forms and is engaged in different realities. When you connect with the vibration of joy, you start to uh, send a signal with your antennas to all the other yous, <laughs> and then together, now we are, we are Together we are all creating. Uh, that's what uh, joy uh, allow us uh, to experience. Um, while when you are uh, when you are not in joy, then you are alone. You cannot because your frequencies are lower, and so you cannot. Mm, receive and send signals, you are disconnected. And so uh, you are basically uh, walking uh, as if you were blind. Um, and it becomes quite tricky, the experience, the earthy experience, because now you are at the mercy of uh, <clears throat> so many outsiders, outside factors. Uh, and life can be very challenging and can be very painful. However, sometimes we think that that's the joy. And so we need to uh, connect with our heart and uh, see if uh, the choices that we think are joyful are really truly in integrity with our heart. Um, if they are, then we are using real joy. And then the synchronicity of um, the unfolding 
uh, will uh, will be extremely uh, blessful and, and very impactful for everybody else um, because we will literally will be uh, God and goddesses walking on earth. Uh, and that's uh, the best way to help and support at this time uh, to find joy. We are in a situation that is so messed up that uh, we have been convinced, many of us are convinced that being in joy is selfish. And they use the idea of selfishness with a negative uh, connotation. So um, you shouldn't be, uh, you're selfish. You should, uh, you should, uh, you're too uh, selfish. You should go towards uh, situations that are more, you're too happy, too joyful. Who, who do you think you are? Sometimes they even get to that, that far, you know, we are getting even to that part of the thing. In, in truth is, uh, the more I am selfish, meaning, and I use these words in a positive way, when I'm taking care of myself, I'm selfish, uh, the more I connect with my joy, and when I am connecting with my joy, my vibrational offer is healing, is transformational, is filled with unconditional love. So joy is, uh, is probably the best choice we have to navigate through this uh, journey. But again, we need to figure out, we need to um, increase our level of discernment so that we can differentiate what is real organic joy from what is a fake artificially created joy. Uh, and that's a, a, that's a wonderful uh, experience, just uh, very exciting, just to, to figure out uh, such a thing is very exciting, you know. Because as soon as you figure things out, immediately a new uh, infinite amount of possibility that were not there before, now they are accessible to you. And so now life becomes even more exciting, even more... Uh, uh, powerful and uh, and you are much more in control.